In this video, I'm going to introduce how to load a huge amount of data into Cassandra using SSTable Loader. Indeed, it's a little bit difficult and requires several steps and more than one tool. I'll show you how to streamline the steps to load Facebook daily stock quotes collected from Yahoo Finance into Cassandra by SSTable Loader. Let's have an overview of the bulk load process and work backwards from part two on the diagram. Cassandra provides a tool called SSTable Loader that can stream SSTable data files into a running cluster conforming to the replication strategy. Alternatively, one may use a provided JMX mBean to achieve the same bulk load purpose. Since SSTable is for data only, the schema of the target table must be defined in the cluster through Cassandra CLI or CQLSH. However, both SSTable Loader and JMX mBean only accept SSTable as their input. As such, we need a way to generate the SSTable. I developed a Java program Packed data import.java to load the data in comma separated values, CSV, and generate the input SS table. It's what part one outputs. Packed run.sh is simply a shell script to set Java class path and streamline the execution of packed data import.java. Packed data import.java is not provided by Cassandra. I made it for this video by modifying a third party Java program available at GitHub called data import.java. The major change is to replace random partitioner with Murmur 3 partitioner, which is the recommended partitioner for Cassandra version 1.2 or above, and make the program to handle CSV data and generate SS table easier. Partitioner will be introduced later in the primary indexes video. In packed run.sh, I properly set Cassandra home and Cassandra config variables, and include the Cassandra jar libraries in the class path to run packed data import.java. SS table loader streams SS table into a cluster according to the replication strategy. It uses gossip protocol and therefore requires Cassandra.yaml configuration file in the Java class path to locate the seed node. It can be run in parallel to speed up the upload. The location of SS table must follow the format as shown on the screen. Please note that the schema of the table is not created by SS table loader and has to be defined by Cassandra CLI or CQLSH. Instead of SS table loader, Cassandra also provides a bulk load operation in its storage service, mBean. You may visit the given URL for further information. I'll give an example of loading Facebook daily stock quotes in May 2013 in a Cassandra table. The quotes are in CSV format and can be downloaded at the URL provided. The fields of the CSV file include the date of the quote, the open, high, low, close prices, the volume, and the adjusted closing price. The target table is called FB under the quote key space. I'll use Cassandra CLI command to create the quote key space and the FB table. The column names should match the fields of the CSV file. Here are the high level steps of the demonstration. Download the stock quotes, generate the SS table, define the target table, upload the SS table by SS table loader, and finally verify the loaded data by CQLSH. As shown, packed data import.java and packed run.sh are placed in demo5 directory. Now download the Facebook stock quotes from Yahoo Finance with the wget command as shown and save it as fb.csv. Check its content by gedit. The data is here and a top row describes the column headers. All right. Then execute packed run.sh quote fb fb.csv. 23 lines are parsed, including the header row, so there are only 22 rows of data. The generated SS table file is in quote slash FB directory. Run Cassandra CLI. Create keyspace quote. Use quote keyspace. Create a column family called FB. Okay, exit to the shell again. Type SS table loader dash D localhost quote slash FB and press enter key. The SS table file should be uploaded successfully. Let's check it by CQLSH. Use quote keyspace. Count the rows of table FB. 22 rows are there, matching the input CSV. Show the content of FB. All right. Now you understand how to generate SS table using the provided program and load the SS table into Cassandra through SS table loader. It's a bit clumsy, right? Next, we're going to look at a more convenient way of data import and export using JavaScript object notation.